Yo, what's going on with you guys? I'm gonna hit y'all with episode four of Inside My Mind. Excuse my low eyes and my slow speed of voice. Um, it's super late right now. It's 3:42 a.m. I just couldn't sleep, so I thought to film another episode. Um, so here we we're at it with me versus Ninja Killer at DreamHack Montreal 2019. This is our first encounter in bracket. In the Lumiere, this was over two years ago, like pulling up a year and a half. Okay, not two years ago, a year and a half ago. Um, this is immediately like a week after I just won Kelty Throwdown with Luke Kang. The first tournament that a Luke Kang has won, a major event. And I run into Ninja, who is known as the best Luke Kang, the best of best. This is like one of like three or four times we played in tournament. I have beaten him in this mirror before, but I did not hear. But yeah, let's dissect what went wrong in my set versus Ninja Killer. Heading into this match, I was like, fuck. All right, I just want Kel to throw down. Looked at the best Lou. But Ninja's also looked at it. Okay, hold up. This shit is loud. Hold up, bro. It's a little late for me. I'm sorry. All right. Um just one you know let's pause because this is a pretty just pretty good set all right mindset boom heading into the set just one celtic i'm like fuck all right i'm pretty on fire with lou uh ninja is also known as one of the best lou kangs at this time he's probably still even though i won celtic known as the best lou um and i was like okay this is a there's a lot on the line here if i beat him then i'm like for sure the best lou right but yeah um ninja sweaty uh there's actually very minute mistakes i made in this set for me to lose but all right let's go Keep in mind, guys, once again, a year and a half ago, 2021, as this video is being filmed, this tournament took place 2019, September. Ooh, I'm going crazy right now, okay. As you can see, I started off strong versus Ninja. I'm uh, kind of steam steamrolling a little bit. Alright, at this point, I'm like, alright. I have a nice little health lead. Let's not choke this, you know? By the way, 9 frame forward for Lou. Um, all right, so boom. Right here, right? I read that he was going to um, grab me. So he jumps across over, boom, in the air. I'm on my, I'm on the ground. Uh, he does the setup a lot. So I noticed that he whiffs his jump kick, and I'm like, okay, he has to grab me if he wants to prolong his turn. Because if he does something on block, I can take my turn back. Um, so I read that, right? Neutral duck. Grab whips. I have grab KB loaded, so that is why I punish with this instead of a, a one two three or a four four. Yeah, yeah, a lot of. I punish with grab. He's dead. The reason why I'm so okay with spending this right here is because back then in 2019, you could still grab KB twice in a game. Now in 2021, you can't. If you spend your grab KB, you can't just throw it and again and get another grab KB. It's not how it works anymore. Back then, I didn't really care. As you can see, he got another escape failed. So I still I could I have my grab my back throw KB ready if I want to use it. Oh yeah. Okay. So let's 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 address that real quick. I'm sorry. I'm pausing, but I have to address it. Um. Just this is my new. Ninja dashes up. I read his movement, so I forward for him. Right here. Dash up. I recognize he dashes. Forward for. That's how you keep people from just doing what they want to. At this point, I still have my back KB loaded, right? So if I if I hit him once and then throw him, I could I could win. But I don't think I get that touch. Yeah, and I just choose not to block i don't know what i was going for i think i was just hoping he didn't meaty and i robbed him but whatever Ooh, yeah i wasn't ready for that whiff punish i don't know why i think all right yep i think i kb him and i immediately get kb'd right here back oh i try to re okay right here i try to react to his stand one stagger but i react too late because i'm a bot and he clips me with 4 4, but then again, this is 9 frame 4 4 Liu Kang. Who knows? That stagger was probably mad real back then. Pokes me, stand once, 4 4. I react, leg it, click, KB. Now the health lead's even. Actually, he has the health lead. And I woke up jump again. 
Jump again. Now we've seen Ninja Killer struggle with jump kicks in the past. In a lot of your matches, especially if you look at him in CEO, you saw that he didn't have a Ninja's just kinda walking me down with fireballs right here because he has fatal blow, so he kinda has the health lead if you really think about it. I think I still have back KB loaded too, but I don't even know if I remember this at that point in time in the tournament. But um yeah, he kinda walks me down. Walks me down with fireball. As you can see, when he amplifies, he gets a little closer to me. He does it again, gets a little closer. And then he grabs me. I don't know how he's this confident. He has no health. Alright, so let me explain, alright? <laughs> let me explain why I got hit. This was back when 1 2 was plus 3. And 4 4 is 9 frames. So you boom, you do 1 2, you're plus 3, you do 4 4. Your, your 9 frame 4 4 basically becomes 6 frames. And I got caught mashing because. I just chose to disrespect. I don't know why. I just I just chose to disrespect, thinking I could maybe you know fraud my way out of that plus frames. But he he jailed me. He checked me. Shouldn't have done that. I literally had the game within my grasp. Right, I have back throw KB ready, and I choose to mash right here. Should not have done it. Once again, guys, this is the first video I've done in this series where I've lost. Yeah, that was so stupid. And on, this is first to two. Uh, this is a setting where you can't really afford to just do shit like that. Back in this time, I was still really adjusted to first to two. I know I wasn't Celtic, but I was still really adjusted to first to two because um, it's hard for me sometimes to hold back my little urges to to mash or just to you know what I'm saying or just to you know be like fuck this, I'm getting out of this shit. I don't care what you're doing. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people feel like that. Alright, so he takes game one. By the way, this is first of two. Alright, I don't know why he he doing thumbs up. My boy doing thumbs up. This was actually probably pretty big for Ninja too. I just want Celtic with his character, you know? And I just picked Liu Kang up. <clears throat> Keep in mind, Ninja's more seasoned with Liu Kang. I just so happened to win a tournament with him. Um, but yeah, this was back when... I don't think either of us were ducking fireball... Oh. Yeah, I don't think we were ducking fireballs and flying kick punishing them. I don't know how many people even know what I'm talking about. But for the, those who do, in today's game, Liu Kang players like me and Ninja are ducking high fireballs and punishing them with flying kick. But I don't know if we were doing it back then. All right, as you can see, I'm starting off this game strong as hell, too. I'm, I'm, this is the same way I started last game. I have a Omega Health lead. I probably win this round, too. Ninja's doing bad. Uh, I don't know what he tried to do right there. He got instant jump one. He probably tried to throw a fireball. He's probably nervous or something. Got instant jump one. And he just, yeah, Ninja's playing like shit right here. Um, very uncharacteristic of Ninja, who plays very clean 24-7. He whiffs the grab. I don't know why, but he does. He gets punished. I get round one. You know, just one round away from making this 1-1, one -one, you know? I think my problem in this set was I was getting too comfortable. I was realizing, oh, I came into the set thing like, damn, Ninja's Ninja, bro. This fool's sweaty as fuck, bro. I'm, I don't know if I can do this. But he was looking real mortal. Um, he was easier to, to to face in the mirror than I thought. I thought I was going to get clapped, you know what I'm saying? Because even if even if I did just win with Lou at Celtic Throwdown, winning a major with him, I thought Ninja was like this invincible force in the mirror. Um, I spent that throw KB there because um, I, I had faith in myself winning this round. I had Fatal Blow. If I hit him like once, then I could hit him again in a Fatal Blow and he loses, you know? So that's why I did that. And I still can just get the other one. I could still just throw KBM again the other direction. And look, now I'm really like one to. Wow. <laughs> okay, so you guys probably think this is mad random, right? Uh, why do I flying kick right there? You may ask. Why? Why rewind? Do you just random flying kick? And why did it work? Of all people, it works on Ninja? So, boom. I, I cover my movement with a dash forward, so I dash forward. Most players in this game, when you dash forward at them, especially good players, when you dash forward at them, their reaction is to dash backwards because they're trying to get away from you, especially when you have fatal blow. So I dash forward into flying kick because I have a feeling he's going to let go of block and dash backwards, and that's exactly what he does. Boom, dash forward, flying kick. And instead of dashing backwards, he actually tried to throw a fireball. So I caught him trying to throw a fireball. And I think he just does it back right here, right? Yep. And the reason why it works for me again here is because I dash forward, 
got him blocking. Then I dash backwards to make him think, all right, he's not going to fly and kick. You know, I dash backwards. I'm like, all right, I'm going to get him. I'm going to dash backwards, and then I'm going to fly and kick. Because by that point, he's probably going to be like, what the fuck? He's still flying kick? Boom. That's why it worked. That was probably like a very complicated explanation of why these flying kicks worked. I hope some understood it. If, if it, you didn't, I'm so sorry. I guess it's just... Yeah, he tried to do it. He tried to... I don't know why he did that. He probably just was like, you know, fuck this dude rewind. I'm about to just do it. And it didn't work. I kind of scouted it. I had a feeling all those random flying kicks I was doing was getting to him. Not really, but I had a feeling he wanted to just do it back. Okay, keep in mind, you know, it's I'm down 01. We both have a round of peace. I have 100% health. He has 45. I should close this out, right? But of course, me. The downfall of most of the games I lose. I'm not saying I don't always lose to the player, but sometimes you can beat yourself. I tend, as a player, to get very comfortable when I'm having a, a, good, a good little health lead like this. I tend to to start playing either careless or I start playing real risky because I think I can afford to, but you can't afford to do that versus a player like Ninja because he'll really make you, he'll really punish you hard for getting too comfortable. Look at how much big this, look at how big this health lead is, like, basically one combo away. I take that. So I got hit, you know, people probably don't know, probably won't notice this, right? They, they'll just skip past it. I jumped after this down one. As you can see, I got hit out the air. I jumped after this down one. A lot of players love to grab you after you throw a poke. So I read that he would grab me after I did down one. So I jumped, but he didn't grab, he 4 4 me. Boom. As you can see, I got hit out the air. This forces, this gets him his throw, uh, god damn, I can't speak, it's late, four in the morning, guys. This, um, me doing that rewards me with the fact that he now has Bicycle Kick KB. That is amazing, right? Now he has Fatable and Bicycle Kick KB, so as you, look at my beautiful health lead. 39%, basically 40. He has Bicycle Kick KB and Fatal Blow. Um, yeah, bad news. So at this point, this is why... I cannot believe. All right, so right here, I, I read. No, I didn't read. I reacted to him staggering, and I punished him. Boom, boom. Reacted. Took my turn back. Now, he's like a couple fireballs away from death. And he's a maniac. He he does back three, four. Fatal blow on block. I blocked the back three. Get hit by the four, though. And he just, he did not confirm it. He was going to do that on block. He, he I asked him. I was like, what made you do that? He said, I thought you were going to flawless block because there's a flawless block gap in between back three, four. In between the three and the four, you can flawless block and up two. But back then, if you do back three, four fatal blow, you blow up the flawless block. So if your opponent tries to flawless block that back then, if you do that in the fatal blow, you got you get blown up. But I didn't do it. I chose to try to interrupt the gap, and that's why I got hit. This is still one hit for Virginia. Oh, and he just believes! He did it! He just believes! Why would... I can't believe he actually So, yeah, he did that. not confirm that. He cannot confirm it. just one hit most of the time in this game. That was basically a wrong read on his end that just ended up working out for him anyway, which is happens a lot in this game, to be honest. In, in fighting games in general, you make the wrong read, but you made the right read, technically. It's not! It's not! One more percent! Oh! And the go with the fireball trade! Yeah, so yeah, um, he beats me 2-0, but as you can see, we both had a, I had a round in both games, it was very close, he literally had 0.20 health, um, in this situation, it came down to whose fireball hit first, so, he throws, an, he throws one, and, um, I think if I threw a high fireball right here, I would have won, but I threw a low fireball, which is slower on startup. So we both throw this fireball. Um, he's technically at advantage because he threw a, a low fireball from full screen, and I had to block it, which force which allows him to throw another one before me. As you can see, his is already about to come out, and mine's is just now starting up. So yeah, he's gonna win, and I probably would have won that if I threw a high fireball because high fireball is faster. Oh! All right, that was me versus Ninja Killer, the legend, the Liu Kang God. Yes, sir. He got the best of me in this set. I'll probably react to me 
running that matchup back in Slayer's 2v2, um, where he played Fujin and then lost and then rent, uh, went to Liu Kang. Appreciate you guys for hopefully enjoying another episode of this series that you guys somehow like. I feel like I suck at explaining shit, but whatever. Um, GG to that man, Ninja. He pushes me to be better. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do on the next episode. Maybe Injustice, maybe not. Those sets are very long. Alright, guys, be smooth. I'm gonna take my ass to sleep. Peace.